There's a lot of excitement at the, in the market at the end of 2023 with, oh, they're going to cut rates early in 2024. Like, what are your predictions for rates in 24? What are we going to see? You always have to look at it by 30 to 60 day cycles. It's, I mean, if you listen to anyone and they, sell, they tell you what's going to happen, to, uh, you know, at the end of the year or anything, it, it's all speculations, right? If we had a crystal ball, all of us would not be sitting here shooting a podcast. We'd be in our man, we'd be in our mansion watching the market, you know, and making, um, you know, real quick moves to, to make quick money. But you know, we don't. Uh, what I will say is, it's all going to be based around a- a inflation. I would imagine that they're going to come down into the lo- into the low sixes, maybe some high, maybe some high fives, depending on your purchase or refinance scenario. But the reality is, you can't cut rates that quickly. A lot of people are like, oh, I just can't wait for them to go into the fives and the fours. But the reality is the market cannot support that. We still have inventory issues. I, I, and I can't speak across the country, but I can tell you in the Phoenix market, we have massive inventory issues. If you drop a rate by a half a point, you're going to let thousands of home buyers back into the market. And people want to buy. If you talk to people, people want to buy and, and get into the market. So you can't drop rates too quickly. My prediction is, yes, we will see rate. I, I do believe we will see rate drops. We have to. Potentially two to four cuts is what I would imagine. But yeah. um, if anyone is thinking like they're going to substantially drop there, the economy won't support the market and the economy won't support that. But it will get better this year.